So this is an example of florid uh, follicular lymphoid hyperplasia. You see uh, variably sized uh, germinal centers ranging from small to a little larger, uh, retained mantle zones, uh, a hint of a starry sky pattern or polarization of the germinal center. Um, things to think about are uh, infectious processes, uh, virus, bacterial, uh, fun, fun, fungi, uh, HIV adenopathy, but we do not see uh, like follicular lysis uh, or um, serpentine-shaped germinal centers. Um, toxoplasmosis, where you could see uh, uh, lymphoid hyperplasia, uh, monocytoid B cell reaction, or epithelioid uh, histiocytes rimming the germinal centers. We don't see that. Uh, progressive transformation of germinal centers, uh, which are usually associated with nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. Those, uh, that entity, you see um, germinal centers ranging in size from 4 to 40x times the normal germinal centers. Um, uh, they're usually EBV negative. Uh, we don't see that here. Um, other things to think about are follicular lymphoma, uh, but again, we have uh, retained mantle zones. Uh, they're not uh, back to back. Um, Classic Hodgkin lymphoma. Uh, we don't see Reed Sternberg cells or chasm of uh, infl inflammation such as neutrophils or eosinophils. Um, nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin, where you can see moth eaten type germinal centers, uh, LNH cells highlighted by CD20. Um, or and or epithelial histiocytes ringing these germinal centers. We don't see that here. Um, so other differential diagnoses, mantle cell lymphoma, but we see retained mantle zones and not expanded uh, mantle zones, uh, marginal zone, nodal marginal zone lymphoma. Uh, where you see more of an inter expanded uh, interfollicular paracortical expansion. And we don't see that here as well. So these are examples of uh, florid uh, lymphoid hyperplasia.